Another thing the rain didn't put a damper on, Kansas City's Jazz and Heritage Festival. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake is there now. And Sarah, how did the festival prepare for today's weather? Well, you know, we had a brief little downpour here about 15 minutes ago. Did not stop the feeling here. Some great sounds here going on AT the Vine. We've got some other uh, vendors here. You can choose from all of these goods. And, you know, the organizer said this is an important event. we got to keep this momentum going to really make an impact on the city. After the first day of the KC Jazz and Heritage Festival closed to beautiful weather and big crowds, organizers scrambled to prepare for storms on day two. We will watch out for major thunderstorm or any lightning and we will at that particular time post the event. But today's rain did not give them the blues. And if you love this music and love this heritage and are really supportive of this heritage festival, don't let the rain scare you away. You're going to miss something powerful. Yeah, and I understand yesterday was excellent too. It would help uh, the vendors very much if, if they could come out and support um, the district, the city, and the vendors. Crews and vendors secured plenty of tarps, and folks can also enjoy the music indoors at the Gem Theater and the Blue Room. Organizers want this jazz fest to get national attention, so they said being prepared is key. For this to be successful, being a jazz city should be important to all of us. We've been kind of coming to these for a number of years, but this one seemed like it's going to be a better one. Yay, KC! Yep, and that's right. So right now here behind me, I mean, you can really feel it here. You really can. Now just come down here to 1130. We see a lot of national and local acts as well. Tickets are $25 per day. Now, if you want to see these scheduled uh, performances, just go online right now, KSHB.com. And AT Divine, I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.